All right, y'all, I haven't done this in a while, so bear with me. This video might not be as good as my other unboxing videos, but we still about to go ahead and get right into it. What the heck is up, you guys? It's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes here, back with another unboxing video, and I know I told you guys I was going to try to do these monthly. If you guys remember one of the last unboxing videos I made, I said that what I was going to do is I'm just going to start trying to compile all of my figures together and having them shipped to me at the end of the month. So at the beginning of the month, uh, I'll always have some kind of unboxing video, but everything doesn't always go according to plan. Now, one thing I forgot to mention was the fact that uh, at the time I was recording those videos, I was in the process of looking for a new place. And since then, I found a new place, I've moved in, and now here we are with this setup that you see behind you. Uh, now, this may or may not be the definitive setup. I know you don't see any action figures or anything like that. It's actually my TV right behind me and some uh, cool paintings from a friend of mine, Morgan, shout out to her. Um, and then there's my door with my hoodies on it. Uh, yeah, I know. It's completely different. Uh, I have my action figures. They're way over here. And then my bed is actually right next to me. So I don't know. I might kind of adjust my space a little bit as needed to make it a little bit more appealing in the future. But for right now, while I'm doing unboxing videos, this is kind of what we're going to go with. Uh, but yeah, now for all of you, I know I haven't been uploading as consistently as I was. And again, all of that had to do with the fact that I moved. I was trying to make sure that all of my finances have been straight. Um, of course, I'm back in the gym, uh, back in the gym, if I can talk. Uh, I have been really trying to take care of myself. I've lost quite a bit of weight, uh, so I'm happy about that. Uh, of course, I'm in a relationship, so there's that part too. It's just, it's a whole lot. And um, there is some changes, but I promise, I'm always going to make time for you guys, and that's what this video is about, making time for you guys. And of course, it is an unboxing. What better way do I have to spend some time with you guys? You get to talk to me, leave your comments, say what you think about my room, say what you think about me, and we get to talk about toys at the same time. Now, I've already spoken for, what, two, three minutes now about other stuff that you guys probably don't care about. Some of you do because I know some of you guys do actually care about what goes on in my personal life. Uh, I do appreciate you guys. But anyway, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get into it because I got a big box right here, guys. Big box. As you can see, it won't even fit on screen. So uh, yeah, we got a lot to talk about. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So as always, when I do get hauls like this, they always come from the same place, my trusty seller Amiami. Ami. Guys, I know a lot of people are constantly asking me where I get my figures from. Amiami, Ami. like the box is, says it, Amiami. Ami. It's always, I really need to start titling these Amiami Ami unboxings. But anyway, let's go ahead and start cutting in here so we can see what we got. Some of these figures you guys probably already uh, are expecting. Some of them you might not. Uh, a couple of these I picked up just to review. And then uh, some of these I am definitely going to keep. Uh, but as we approach the future, I am going to be doing it a lot where I buy figures and then I just, um, I sell them just because I want to get a review out and that's it. Some figures I'm just, I'm not going to be keeping, yo. It's, it's too much and I've got too much other stuff going on in my life. So I'm not just going to keep buying a bunch of figures, especially since I don't have much time with them anyway. But, 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 but. All right, so we got the box open, as you can see. Uh, actually, I always like to show these. Let me grab this real quick. It fell out. We got the Ami Ami little uh, role play poster right here. So we got this. This is cool. Uh, this is one of their cooler ones, actually. I always keep these for whatever reason, um, and I'm going to continue doing so. All right, now to the box itself. Let's see what we got in here. Um, Where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? I like to save the best for last, so I guess I'll start with what I'm the least excited for, which uh, I'm still kind of excited for it, so least isn't really the way to put it, but we're going to bring it out. We have the SH Figure Arts 
um, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom Aquaman. Now, I didn't watch this movie. I ain't gonna lie. I heard it was trash. Y'all told me that. But this figure looks... Woo! Wait a minute. Whoa! This thing looks good, yo. This kind of looks like a Moth X. Whoa! All right. So, we're definitely going to be reviewing this. And I might end up keeping this. The water effects are definitely going to be getting kept. But... Oh, man, this looks good. This looks good, you guys. I know a lot of people probably slept on this, but this this looks good. I'm, I'm with it. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get that one out of the way. Next up, we have... Um, don't ask me why I bought this in the comments. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> we have the... What is this? Kai, Kaiyu, Kaioru Red. Kaioru Red. Basically, a Red Ranger. Now, I'm not like the biggest Power Ranger fan or anything like that. But growing up, I really loved the Red Ranger. Red is my favorite color, Rojo. Um, and so I decided I was going to get this figure. And hopefully they make the rest of the colors because if they do, I'm definitely going to be getting them. Definitely going to be posing them alongside this guy. Be expecting to see some photos of him and some common writers that I have yet to break out. For whatever reason, I need to. But um, yeah, this thing looks... Pretty dang good, man. As soon as this went up for pre-order, I snagged it. I'm really digging this packaging. Uh, you guys let me know if you want me to review this. Now, the next two I'm going to get out of the way because I know most of you really aren't all that interested in these. But uh, in case you guys don't know, <clears throat> I'm a big Nendoroid collector, you guys. Like, for real. Like, big, big, big Nendoroid collector. And I've got so many I haven't opened. Sadly, these two are about to join the stash but we have my boy right here, Reo from Blue Lock. And then we also have Rin from Blue Lock. Now, if you haven't watched Blue Lock, it is so freaking dope, man. I really love sports anime. Haikyuu is, of course, my number one. Speaking of which, the Haikyuu movie just hit theaters. Go check that out. The Battle of Setters. That movie was so... Oh, I got to go back and watch it again. But um, I love sports anime, man. They're fun. They're a breakaway from the typical shonen that most people are used to watching, I highly recommend sitting down and checking one out. If you like sports, check out a sports anime. Go check out Kudo No Basket, Haikyuu, Free, um, any of those. Uh, Diamond No Ace for baseball. There's quite a few. Go check them out. Um, and then if you like sprinting, there's also a sprinting one. I forget what it's called. I think it's Free Run or something like that. But um, go check that out. I just spit on the camera. I hope you can see that. But um, yeah, really, really dope. I love these. Um gonna have a lot of fun with these whenever i do finally break them out next what do we got in here um we got uh this box is way bigger than i thought it was gonna be we got the um effect set uh i may or may not review these the blue wind effect set now most of you probably already know why i bought this and if you don't this image right here should probably tell you exactly why i bought it uh, in case you didn't know, but uh, these look cool. Definitely gonna have some fun with these. This box going in the trash though, because I'm not gonna keep them in here. Uh, but yeah, definitely gonna have some fun with these for sure. Uh, and I can also use these for some of my Demon Slayer uh, figure arts that are gonna be coming in. These could definitely be effect pieces for um, maybe Giyu, maybe even Tanjiro. I don't know, but also got that, so that's cool. Uh, next up, we have uh, another one I'm not really all that excited for. I might review this. You guys let me know. We have the um, Super Saiyan God Song Goku. What is this? The third, fourth reissue of this figure. I bought this one just because I like the colors, man. I really like the way the orange pops. Um, I am a fan of the Super Saiyan God form. Not the biggest, but it's cool. Uh, who knows how long I'm going to be keeping this in my collection. Honestly, probably not long. I don't really like the looking to the side faces. I know why they did it, because it's accurate, but I don't know. I don't really like the looking to the side faces. And now that I have this in hand, I don't know, man. I really don't want it that much. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I'll bust it open and enjoy the colors more than I think. I've had this figure a few times, and I've just been like, eh, whatever. Uh, now, next up, we have, um, and I forgot I ordered two of these. We have our boy from Kaiju number eight. We have Rino Ichikawa. And uh, there's no point in me showing two. I don't know why I'm doing that. But um, if you have not watched Kaiju number eight, 
go watch it. I'm really looking forward to this figure. I've heard some bad things about the abdomen area and uh, how it's very limited in articulation, but in hand, this thing looks good. So either way, I'm gonna try my best to have some fun with it. I love the extra faceplate that he comes with for Kaiju number eight or Kafka, definitely digging that. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna have some fun with this figure. I love that he comes with a windswept hair piece. This I'm definitely going to review. This will probably be my second review because the figure that I'm about to show off next is going to be the first thing I review out of here. And I'm gonna give you guys a second to comment below and tell me what you think it is. Um, make sure nothing else is in here. Yeah, you guys know what it is. But in case you don't, I'm gonna give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It is the S8 Figuarts Narutop 99 Naruto Uzumaki. And yes, I've reviewed this figure before, of course. It's Naruto with different accessories. But at the same time, that's why I'm so excited for it. It's Naruto. You guys already know, man. Naruto is my bread, my butter, and all of that. And look at this, man. Really love this Narutop 99 packaging, too. This is amazing. Beautiful, beautiful artwork by Kishimoto right here as well. Uh, shout out to the man himself, the legend. Kishimoto Sensei, thank you so much for Naruto. Uh, it's it's literally everything to me. And um, yeah, there we go with everything that I just got in this freaking haul. And um, we got some work to do, guys. You know what all this means. And so, yeah, just like that, that is everything. We got a ton of stuff. I actually have a few more figures coming in. And then I know at the end of the month, I've got even more figures coming in. Uh, I think this is probably going to be the heaviest month for me, actually. I can't think of anything other than the SH Figure Arts Sakura. Um, I do have another Naruto 99 Naruto coming in because... Ami Ami only let me order one for whatever reason. Like, Naruto doesn't use Shadow Clones. Like, he literally has two right here on the box. But uh, the homie 86 picked up one for me because he's always coming through in the clutch. He also picked up the Street Fighter, um, I don't know, the military guy. I don't know his name. Uh, I just like to collect the Street Fighter figures. But uh, he picked that up for me, which is also on the way. So, again, big shout out to my boy 86. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, we got the soccer re review coming later this month and um, some other stuff. Uh, any Anything Tomashi Nation's announced that's coming this month that I'm into, uh, you guys already know I'm going to review. I know Kimpachi comes out this month, Kimpachi Zaraki from Bleach. Uh, and yeah, I'm not going to try to sit here and think of all that on camera. But um, overall, that is my action figure haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon so that you're notified whenever I upload new content. And last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up my activity outside of YouTube. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, guys. Peace.